Hey everybody, it is Murphy Gray Hunter and I am back to do another book review. Books review. <laughs> I'm sorry, my face is itchy. Allergies. Um, it's like everybody is sick. Even my cat, one of my cats and one of my dogs, sick with allergies. Alright, I wanted to show a couple of books um, by Katherine Yarwood. I don't know if it's Yarwood or Ironwood, but anyway, there are two hoodoo books. And I've had these hoodoo books for a while. Um, like I said, you know how I have several books. Uh, but you know how it is when you when you order books or go buy books. You order um, a whole bunch of books. I'm sorry if you rub my nose, but my face is so itchy. Um, you know when you order a ton of books and then you don't read them all, you know. Um, and so it takes you a while. You don't have to. I mean, you can order like a million books and just take your time. You know, there's no set limit or whatever. And sometimes you just get those books that you kind of just skim through. You know, I don't ever really, um, I've never really bought a spell book or a witchy book and just really read page by page by page. I skim through the whole book and then I'll mark it with, you know, with post-its and stuff that I want to go back and look at. And then I read the whole book. Um, anyway, so the first book is the Hoodoo Urban Root Magic. I've showed this book before many, many times as one of my recommendations. You don't have to be into voodoo, I mean voodoo, into hoodoo to appreciate this book. This book is, this book has so much information um, and there's no, um, there's no special drawings or colored pictures or illustrations, nothing. But it's just full of information. Um, this book is, um, it gives you spiritual uses for natural herbs, roots, minerals, and um, it's just, I, I think I've, um, I think I've done a review on this book before uh, because I've seen so many reviews on this book. It's just one of the um, must-have books. Um, and I, this was, it says $14.97, but I know I didn't pay that much for it. I ordered mine from Amazon, um, and you can get on the website on Lucky Mojo, and um, that website is um, has so much information on there, um, and I'm subscribed to their newsletter, um, and if you get on YouTube and you uh, look up the Lucky Mojo um, shop, there's a couple of videos on there that... Um, people have made showing every single thing and oh my gosh if I ever go there I'm going to need a lot of money because they have so much stuff I just want everything anyway in the back of the book it shows more books um that's more information So, like I said, um, if you might have this book already, it's just so, so good. I just cannot um, tell you again how, how good this book is. This is really a great tool to have. Um, you know, I say books are tools because they really are. All right, so that's the first one. Um, the second book is The Black Folder. I've talked about this book before. I've, I've had this book for about a year now. This book was maybe... Yeah, I've had this book for over a year. This book um, says $12. And I I don't know what I bought this for um, on Amazon. I know it was less than that. But maybe not by much. But anyway, this book... Oh my gosh. It is an excellent, excellent book. Um, this has... Um, she has on here the black folder of personal communications on the mastery of hoodoo and this is also um edited by um katherine yarwood and if i'm mispronouncing um uh, your last name if you're watching this katherine i apologize i don't know if it's yarwood or ironwood but um i love your books um this book contains so much information um, it has working with spiritual supplies and candles and lamps and, you know, hoodoo hands, packets and dolls, bottles, jars, and other vessels. 
um, Conjuring, Cookery, um, Divinations, the Life Changing Spells, Court Cases, Reversing and Cursing, Luck and Money, Love Spells, Protection, Cleansing. There's just so much information in this book. Um, for example, you know, um, you come across, um, say, floor washes and bath washes, and you don't know how to use them. This book explains what herbal washes are, um, what floor washes are, how to use them. Um, it's just, again, you don't have to be in, into hoodoo to appreciate these books, but I guess if you didn't, if you weren't interested in hoodoo or practice hoodoo, I guess you wouldn't have any need for these, but I wouldn't know why you wouldn't be into it because it is wonderful, wonderful. I absolutely, absolutely love, uh, hoodoo and, um, I mean, I love so many different magical practices, but hoodoo is one of my most favorite. Um, it talks about uh, how to make oil lamps. Um, now, this one does have a couple of pages of, of um, pictures here. But, and it, um, let me try to see and find something I can show you. She's got some spells in here. Um, sweet spells for love and beauty. Money. Um, now, I like this one where she shows you how to make and use mirror boxes. Some great stuff in here. I'm saying, if there, if you are not, um, if, if you're interested in hoodoo and you have no idea what a lot of this stuff is for, I really recommend you get this book. This this is a really, really good book for um, your collection. So this is the uh, black folder. And like I said, you can get this on Amazon or you can get on Lucky Mojo's and in, in, in art and in iron it. Order it from there. My head is just everywhere today. <laughs> um, so yes, I do recommend these two books. Love these books. I love her work. Um, I guess I'll show this one too. Um, I got this book. This is a Hoodoo Honey and Sugar Spells. I got this also from Amazon. This was $9. And, um, this just has a lot of information, um, on how to use, um, how to use, uh, sugar bowls, honey, and honey jars, um, and the right sweetener for every purpose. So, you know all the different types of sweeteners that you could use. Um, it has floor washes to attract business. Um, all these spells um, are all made with some type of sweet, you know, whether it's honey or sugar. Um, so if you're into honey jars, sugar jars, sugar bowls, um, I really recommend you get this one also. Just really, this is another great book uh, to have for your shelf that, you know, that you would use. I Like I said, I use tons of honey jars and um, sugar bowls because I do a lot of, um, I use a lot of black salt, um, hot foot powder, you know, because I, I do a little of everything. And so honey jars um, and sugar, sugar bowls, they are so simple to use, but so effective and... What I really love about hoodoo is that a lot, you know, it's it's root and herb work and it's a lot of stuff that you already have around your house, you know? So I really, really recommend you get this book also. It's a small book, but it's really, really good. I don't think I have any other hoodoo books here that I wanted to show, no. All right, so again, I almost hit myself in the face. This book, awesome book if you're into honey jars and sugar bowls. <clears throat> this one is a great book because why is that dog in our yard? Neighbor's dog in our yard. I don't like, I'm sorry, I know this is way off, but I don't like when um, people don't have their animals on a leash or in their own yard or whatever. Because that dog goes to the back and uh, my dogs see them and it goes crazy. 
Anyway, sorry. So this one, the Hoodoo um, Urban Root Magic. Good, good book. Good book. Good, good, good book. <laughs> and um, the Black Folder, another fantastic book. If you're going to purchase books, I recommend that you buy books that you are going to use, that are going to be a tool in your practice, not just a book that's just going to be sitting on your bookshelf somewhere. Like for example, let me show you what I'm talking about. This book here. Wikipedia, Modern Day uh, White Witch Guide. I bought this book and I paid $15 for it. This is a book that I will not be using in my practice because I'm not Wiccan and I don't practice any of the white witches ways I guess. There's a lot of great information in here but this is information in here that I already know because I have already purchased books like this. But why did I buy this book? I bought this book knowing this. But I bought this book because I love the the way it looks. I love books. I love books and I love to showcase them. And I love the way this book, I love the green foil on it. I love the design of it. And I like the, the design in here. The way they designed the pages and I really, I really, I love that. So I, I spent money on this buying it, but will I use this in my practice? No. It'll sit on my bookshelf with my witchy stuff. Looking pretty. But, um, you know, I, I bought this knowing that. But what I'm saying is that when you purchase books, you should buy books that you're going to use in your practice. Books that are going to be um, of use to you. Um, that are going to educate you and give you information. This is a good book. This is a good book. It has a lot of information in here. But what I'm saying, I'm not doubting the book at all. It's a fantastic book. It's a beautiful book. It would be a lovely addition to any any witch's uh, library. But what I'm saying is that I already have a book that has all this information. I just bought it because I wanted it to sit on my shelf. Because it, I could appreciate the cover and the design of it. So I bought it. But... Um, Definitely buy books that you're going to be using in your practice um, and that are going to um, serve as a tool to you. All right, guys. Um, until the next video. The next video, I'm going to show um, some Santeria books. All right. Bye.